Hi everybody, I'm here to do another weekly update slash response video. I know it's been a while since I've done one and I have a lot to catch up on. Pretty much four weeks worth of things to talk about, but let's get started with the responses. And Becca, I hope you are having a wonderful and exciting trip in Korea and take lots of photos and videos and eat lots of food and hopefully later on you can put the in a video for us so we can just share the experience with you and have a safe trip back i know you don't have a ticket yet but hopefully you come back into our arms and safe and sound <laughs> grace um you're back too i know i pretty much we pretty much came around the same time back to hawaii so i saw you shortly after i got off the plane and um yeah, I'm glad that you went to graduation. It is a great accomplishment in your life. And um, I know what you're talking about. It's pretty boring, especially the speeches and stuff. But you know, we got through it. What is done is done. Um, also, you being back and all, I hope you have some footage for us from your trip to Korea and that we get to see that eventually. Um, and I hope you have an easier time at work. I know that you've been working pretty much all week and eight hour days, so it's not easy, but yeah, I know that you're a quick learner and that you'll get to learn the software quick and help out that guy who will, that you will be assisting. So, yep. And... I knew you were sleeping. I knew it. At Becca's house at the sleepover, I knew it. <laughs> but I was pretty tired too. I'll be honest, when I went to retreat to Becca's room, I kind of just dozed off for a little bit. I mean, come on. It was a very long day. <laughs> um, yeah, it was nice to see everybody again. Um, yeah. Moving on, Romy, yay, you're back on the internet. And you have a lot of clips to show. Thank you very much for that. And um, I recently saw your video and when I saw that empty dorm room, it just took me back to the days when I used to live in the dorm room and had to go through the same scenario of like moving out. But it was also kind of very stressful because, um, you know, I didn't really, have a house to store things in to move back and stuff so I always had to go to a friend's house and you know beg and plead like let me use your basement or attic to store my stuff in so me and my roommate would always like have to bribe a friend of ours to like let him store our stuff so you know that's what friends are for <laughs> um moving on Catherine Hello, welcome to the vlog. And oh my God, you're in Norway. I honestly, honestly, like Norway is one of the places that I want to go to in the future. It's like a dream destination of mine. And this is like the architecture geek side of me coming out, but like in Norway is one of the up and coming like places for architecture just because they're doing a lot of sustainable works there and also um, architecture or tourism architecture where they're preserving much of the landscape but also kind of building like destination places for like tourists to like venture and stuff so like ugh, I want to be there I want to go there so keep taking lots of videos and pictures and updating us on your adventures in Norway because I truly enjoy them and also thank you for updating us on your life because like I haven't spoken to you in a very long time so it is very nice to see what you're up to, how you're doing, and you're dating a new boyfriend. That's nice to know. And I hope to meet him once you come back and you know we will be acquainted face to face. And yeah. Um, yeah. Moving on. Um, Catherine and Renee, I hope you're out there still watching this and 
hope that you come back to the blog and post up your videos and even though I saw you guys like last week and I'm pretty catch up with your lives caught up with your lives um, it's still nice to see that your content on the blog because I truly enjoy watching them and you know yeah well I think that's it for the responses part of this video I know this one is just going to be a long video um, but yeah here are the updates sorry got cut off a little bit there I don't have that much memory on my phone so yeah uh, I'm pretty much rewinding four weeks back in time to pretty much when I got onto the plane from New York to the islands. So I went to JFK pretty early in the morning, like 8 a.m. And my flight was at 10, so I needed to make sure I had enough time to do everything. And um, luckily enough, when I checked in, they let my bags go, even though they were like five pounds over. So I'm really happy for that. Um, but pretty much it was one of the best flights that I've ever had because one, I had two seats to myself, two, they gave meals, more than one, with complimentary wine, another bonus because it made me feel good, um, three, I was located near the aisle, near the aisle so I could pee whatever I wanted, that's very important to me, and four, they had chargers in the seats, so I had unlimited hours of music, games, whatever was on my phone, and also a loaded battery on my laptop, so I had copious amount of movies to watch. So thank you Hawaiian Airlines, keep doing what you're doing, and yeah, pretty much when I got off the plane, my um, luggage took some time to get there, considering I had four pieces of luggage that I had to wait for. But my dad and my sister picked me up from the airport and later did I know that I had to house sit and dog sit for my cousin um, with my sister. So I did not unpack my things for like two weeks. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was really cool um, house sitting for my cousin because he pretty much lives across the street from us. So it's not far traveling for me. But like he renovated his house to look really different from ours and it's just like new and exciting so it was nice to live there for two weeks um, or a week I don't know but yeah I know Grace Renee and Becca have seen the dog and it is quite quite active <laughs> It's still a puppy, I know, but it just like pretty much when you release it from the cage, it like poops and pees everywhere. So yeah, great times. Um, yeah, so after the house sitting biz, like I got to be back in our house and pretty much the last few weeks, I've been slowly renovating my old room if you remember ever visiting my house in the past, these used to be green walls, but now they're cappuccino white. And I really love the color just because it makes the room look so much bigger than it ever was. And you know, it's nice. And I know I keep mentioning it and I will do it eventually. I will do a room tour in part and just show you how I updated this room. So. Yeah. Um, aside from that, I've also been doing a lot of doctor appointments, dentist appointments, all these appointments, just to see that I'm okay inside, internally. But I found out that I have hay fever slash a sinus infection. Yep. Pretty much my doctor says that I'm very highly allergic to Hawaiian dust. And what that means I'm not completely sure, but she pretty much summed it up as like dust and dirt that is local here and so I must have a clean room all the time, but also like wear a mask when I'm cleaning. Um, I'm also, it's also a combination of like the bog that's coming in, so like my 
like nasal passages are just like ugh. Um, and also like dust mites so like I have to be careful of like certain fabrics so there was this whole deal with like trying to like wrap my bed in like this protective gear that we had to buy from Sears and like you know it just makes my skin itchy whenever I sleep but like now that's not a problem because we had that whole situation fixed and like I'm okay I'm okay like I'm fine I'll live I think it just will take me some getting used to back to the tropical environment climate and you know like I grew up here in Hawaii it's not gonna be a big deal like I'll get used to it and yeah so that's pretty much that um, I've also there was also like I mentioned before as soon as I got off the plane I shortly met up with Renee Becca Grace and Romy at off the wall for dinner and that was like so exciting because I was just filled with giddiness and happiness and yeah it was good seeing you guys again um, I think I already mentioned this I don't know um, also there was Becca's sleepover slash cooking day at her place and that was also a really fun time because I that's when I got to see Sarah for the first time and I was just filled with excitement and pure joy and it was nice to just like do the whole cooking day thing and I think we went through the whole deck of cards against humanity while eating a bunch of Korean snacks that Grace brought and um, I'll also admit I took a cat nap when I retreated to Becca's room <laughs> It was just such a long day that I just needed to take a little cat nap. Um, yeah. Also, we had the feral lunch outing last week. And that's when I also saw Catherine Lee for the first time. And that was also fun because we ate lots of ice cream. And it was really funny because Renee and Grace were like shivering because they were cold. But, you know. <laughs> eat more ice cream to get more cold. yeah and then we just walked around the mall afterwards to like walk it off um I think it was also the same week that we got to see Romy perform at Waikiki at Rumfire and that was really cool um before that though we went to go eat dinner at Kyukaku Renee Sarah and grace and we went there for happy hour and that went longer than expected but it was also very delicious and um after Romy's performance we went to Anna Miller's and that also went longer than expected because I I mean I truly enjoyed it because we were just like reminiscing of like how we met each other and like our times in middle school and high school and basically kind of just like reunited with those memories and I hope there's more of that next week when we go to the hotel for staycation and it's just a good time reminiscing about things um yeah I think we stay there until like two o'clock <laughs> good thing it's 24 hours um I also celebrated my mother and father's birthday and that's when I got to see my family a lot. Um, also kind of just reunited with them after a few years. Um, so that was good. Also, Christopher's birthday was on the 5th of July. And I sent him a birthday package. Um, it did not get there on time when I planned it so perfectly well. And he's also a very hard person to shop for slash make things for because I pretty much we we've been together for a long time and like I I'm a, I'm out of ideas <laughs> and like he pretty much had he's the guy who has like everything he's already want and needed so it's like what do I get you I don't know so I tried my hardest to like accumulate a package for him, but it was not just for him. It was also for his parents and his brother. Um, 
but yeah he says he really liked it and that he enjoys the things that were in there and um yeah even though i couldn't be there for his birthday i try my best to send him something nice um, it was mostly Hawaiian snacks and just knickknacks that I could buy. They were like local here. Um, but other than that, I've just been, I babysat once a week for the last two weeks. My little nephew, I like to call him my nephew, but he's actually my cousin's son. But he's like that generation below, so he's like, I like to call him my nephew. Um, it's just so amazing because like the last time I saw him he was like four years old and now he's six. He's pretty much going into like kindergarten slash first grade, I forget. But you know, he's getting so tall. Um, and we also babysit like this other boy who's not related to us at all, but you know, his mother pays us and <sighs> if it weren't for my sister babysitting with me, like these children would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> just being honest like it I for the first five minutes I think children are nice and fun but like anything after that I'm like oh my god I need to put you away like I can't deal with you right now um but yeah been babysitting and also I know I've already told a few of you this but like I've been working part-time for a small firm called Design 8 and um, they mostly do custom-made houses slash residential work and I've been helping them create 3D models of their um, their houses so pretty much they give me the plans I extrude them in my program to make the, the client understand how your spaces are and like the how your house looks on the outside and most of these houses are located in Makakilo, so it's very hilly. So, you know, you look at the plan, so, you know, like, it's hard to understand how these floors connect with each other. So, yeah, um, these custom-made houses usually range from, like, 500000 to, like, multi-million dollars. So, they're pretty, like, large houses and very quite extensive. Um, yeah. I think I'll like, sort of like a small clip of like what I do to better under help you guys better understand what I do. Um, but yeah, I that's what I've been doing and I've been um, getting paid to do that. Although I haven't like established my rate yet. As, essentially what I am is like an independent contractor. I'm not like a part of the company. I'm kind of just someone who like they pay at a rate to get this piece of the project done. So I still have to establish my rate i've never established a rate for myself before so that still needs to be done in order to get paid so yeah but i think that's pretty much all i've been up to i do have a few clips to put towards the end to better explain what i've been doing and things like that but yeah other than that, I'm glad that I got to cut, catch up with the updates and the responses and see your lovely faces in actuality now that I'm here. And I can't express that enough. I'm like really happy to see you guys again. And yeah, I hope the blog keeps going. And yeah, many more things to come. And if you haven't yet, I posted a may and june favorites in the previous post below and other than that i hope you have a great day great night whenever you're watching this and i'll talk to you guys later bye oh no <laughs> you look like a rat. A shivering little rat.
your one what I do for my part-time so like I said they give me the lines and I translate them into this program here called Rhino and I extrude them to their correct heights and pretty much just assemble the different planks together so this is what I have so far as you can see through this translucent mode don't worry these aren't the actual colors of the house but um they kind of just help identify each and different object um, let me see if I can put it into a different mode here. Yeah, so this is like a more accurate representation of like what it will actually look like with the non-translucent walls and things like that. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been up to. This really didn't take that much time, but um, yeah, I still need to build the land and put the materials onto it and it will look more identical to what the client is looking for. Why is it all floppy? It's supposed to... I'm cutting strawberries. Make more. What I look like. Thank <laughs> you. 